Hey everyone, what's up? And okay, we're gonna zoom in here a bit. But I want to welcome you to this video, this overview, review, if you will, of the. I think you could see it there. I don't know if you can really see it. Let's uh, zoom out a bit. Wish this camera had a bit of a remote, <laughs> make it easier. But of the. Uh, in there. Are the X-Men, Marvel Now, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Men, Emma Frost, distributed or created by, yeah, the same people, Kurabuta, or Kurabuta, I can't even pronounce it right, the same people that I got the Rogue figure from. So, pretty cool. This is the uh, box in which it came in. Some nice artwork on the side. And right there it says Marvel Now. And then you got some Japanese text um, on the back there. See, so yeah, and then you got uh, descriptions right there. But yeah, I actually ordered this, and I've talked about this before. I actually ordered this, the um, Emma Frost uh, figure here. I actually ordered this back two days after my birthday on July 27th. What happened was it looked like it was on its way to be shipped, right? Now, I didn't get a message saying, oh, it couldn't be shipped because there was something wrong. No. I ended up getting a message saying there was a delay. And the delay obviously was whoever the Amazon, I can't remember if it was Toy Wiz or somebody, but somebody that partnered with Amazon and uses the Prime, uh, the Prime portion of Amazon to distribute and sell items. Basically, I got a message stating that, and again, I don't know if it was Toy Wiz or whoever, but I got a message that stated there was a delay because the item wasn't in stock. But they would let me know when it would show up. Well, the item showed up alright last week, I believe. A week from yesterday, it showed up. It showed up a week from yesterday, which was Monday. And I look at that and I'm saying, well, better late than never. Because I kept checking, wondering when it was going to get shipped. And I kept getting the message of, we'll let you know, we'll email you. And then, re and then finally, the weekend before, I ended up looking at the message, and this time it said it was on its way. So, whatever the reasoning was, whatever the reasoning was, I, it's how, I, would, I would guess it was out of stock. But basically, it's built in the same fashion as the Rogue figure. Um, as you could see, when you zoom out a little bit, we're going to zoom out just, ooh, not zoom in, but zoom out a little bit. As you can see, it's on the same kind of magnetic stand. And just like with the Rogue figure, it has the Marvel Now logo embossed on the, embossed on the bottom of it. The only difference, though, between this figure and the Rogue figure is Rogue was only in three parts. She had the whole body, and then you had to put her arms, and that was it. Here, with, um, I know it was, it was her head, it was her arms, and her body. So she was in full parts. See, like, she had a whole body, a whole torso, but you had to connect her head and her arms. Here, you had to connect her torso. Her head was already on there. So you had to connect her torso, her torso together. So you had the bottom half here of her legs eggs that you had to connect right here at the hips, right here at the hips, uh, to piece together. And then you had to put the arms. So she was in four parts, but totally different. Now, overall, the design of the character is done very well. I, I am not going to, I'm not going to go against that. Done very well. As a matter of fact, we're going to stop this here for a second. 
and we're going to pull her off the stand and again I could say it's the same stand it's got the Marvel now insignia uh, I mean logo on the back it's kinda cool didn't say the year just says Marvel and then this is what the figure looks like and overall it is a great representation of what the White Queen White Queen Emma Frost is in the comics right now and then, like I said, as you could probably see here, uh, hopefully that clears up a little bit. As you can see here, you have to connect her between these two parts, this part and this part. And then the arms, of course, you have to connect. Overall, the design is done very well. Her head does not move, if you're wondering that. The cape, though, feels very flexible a little bit, so that's kind of cool. Kind of give it that wavy in the wind kind of motion. Overall design is nice. I not, I like the the design with the boots. I like how they give them the she got the high heels go in there, so that's good. Um, again, just a great representation of who she what she is right now in the Marvel now in the Marvel comics, the Marvel now Uncanny X Men comics, and of course you have the X Men logo on her shoulder pads. She on, they got the X Men logo on her shoulder pads there, so. That's a nice overall touch. I'll give them that. I will give them that. That they gave her a great overall touch here. Great overall feeling. Um, as we could see. Just great. Oh, just a great design overall. They, these Kudabudas, uh, Kudabudas. I can't pronounce it correctly. They just do a fantastic job with these figures. And I don't I don't think you could say any, any, any more than that. So... They just do a tremendous, tremendous job with these figures, and and that's the noon alarm. <laughs> but yeah, they just do uh, a tremendous, a tremendous uh, job with these figures. I, again, I can't say any any more than that. And again, like I said, that's the noon alarm right there. But again, like I said, they just do a tremendous, tremendous job with these figures. Um, can't say any any more than that. Um, but yeah, just a great job, well done, and I, I really recommend getting something like this for your collection. You know, again, they give you a great box that it comes in, gives you great artwork, give you an idea of what it was inspired from. So overall, it's just just a great figure, and I know I say that word a lot here, so I do apologize. But it's just just a terrific figure here, and a great collectible item. The only downside that I'm pretty sure like a lot of people would look at is the fact that you got to piece it together like a puzzle. But it's easier said than it. But it's a lot easier than you expect. So um, overall, though, that's really all I could say on the Emma Frost Marvel Now Uncanny Uncanny X Men figure. By Kudabu, Kudabu, uh, blah, blah, blah. easy for me to say. <laughs> the uh, Kodabuya, uh, the Kodabuya, um, R T E R A R T F X plus, A R T F X plus, if you will. So that's really all I could say on it, and that's all I'm gonna say, folks. So let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like. Let me know if you're thinking of getting a figure like this. I would recommend you do, and I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I am out.